Yo, all right, back with some more books. First thing, I want to update on a book I showed last time that I was uh, not well enough informed about, but I had bought it. It was this, Supergirl 28, new, newer book. Uh, this is, she becomes, spoiler, she gets a, uh, she gets the Red Lantern ring, becomes a Red Lantern, and this is the origin of her getting the ring. And I won't have time to show this book today, but I'll just, I'm showing it now. So it did make the cut. Um, I got this in a newer haul, which I won't get to today, but Red Lantern's flip book with Green Lantern, number 28. This is... Uh, her first appearance as the Red Lantern. Um, this book, uh, I find a lot of my stuff online, you know, as far as speculation, um, new books, new movie characters, whatever it be. This I found over at uh, Google, a Google group called Comic Speculation and Investing. Really cool group. Check them out. If you're on YouTube, you can get on a Google group. So this one... Uh, is the first print and this did not come with a digital download and I guess they from what I've read they uh, didn't print too many of them and so they went back for a second print to include the digital download and the only way that I I don't have the digital one it might say on the cover but if you go to the Indica on the on the Red Lanterns cover about three or four pages in they're It'll say down at the bottom there if it's the second print. But I don't see it on this one. So just an update on that. And we'll get to that other haul shortly, hopefully. Uh, up here I got, I started off my last vid with some movie and TV show stuff. And we continue on with that as well. On the right here I got Zero, which is an image comic. This is issue number one. They had three regular covers and then some variants you know convention variants and whatnot this has uh, the the creator has said that this is kind of being talked about for I, I don't know if it was a movie or a tv show i can't remember but i haven't read it yet but the uh, creator's kind of comparing him to james bond 007 and they're actually starting to advertise it as that now i've read uh a new a new image book where they had an ad that kind of had like 007 and then it had it crossed out and it had it was an ad for zero so this this can still be found pretty affordably I, I paid like 350 each plus shipping which is the cover price is three bucks um, so it's not really heating up too much yet but I definitely put on your radar to grab it now on the left annihilators and this one here, number three, has really heated up in the past couple weeks. If you can find that at your local store, it'll probably be pretty affordable. But uh, it's online. It's going for about 20 now. Number three. This was what people are saying is the, the origin of Rocket Raccoon, but I read it. Um, there's some backstory to Rocket Raccoon, but it's not. But it's it's kind of missing a chunk of it where he actually was out in the, the universe like with Hulk and I don't know I've, I've never read Hulk 271 so I don't know how that plays out as far as Rocket Raccoon and what they're doing but um, this is still it's still hot now because people are have started saying that this is his origin you know anything Rocket Raccoon now is just through the roof Guardians of the Galaxy this cover I really like so this is Annihilators 3 the variant cover here is for the variant which is a Scotty Young cover awesome cover and Scotty Young's going to be doing a Rocket Raccoon book starting in July so who knows if uh, that'll affect something like this you know a, a Scotty Young uh, Rocket Raccoon variant cover issue 4 I paid so this this I actually got on on Amazon I went on Amazon. There's a couple places where you can go. Like whenever I hear about a book and 
it's starting to heat up. I, there's a couple places that I'll go to see if it, if there's still any left for cheap. And this was the last one I think was on Amazon. I got it for three bucks plus three, three bucks shipping, so six bucks. Can't beat that. And um, these two I got on on eBay. Number four and number two all have Rocket Raccoon on the cover. These I paid like 14 bucks for the two of them, I think. So not bad, but not great. But I definitely think if you can if you can find them for a reasonable price, it's it's a good uh, it's a good book to have in your collection. All right, next up, I went to. I don't have a lot of. I, I've been hearing about half price books. Uh, some other YouTubers have have uh, found some good scores there, and I don't have any near me. They're all about an hour away. But I was in the area, so I stopped at one. And I found this was like slightly after this got announced. DMZ. It's going to be, I believe, a TV show or a pilot. Pilot got picked up for a pilot or a movie. I can never remember anymore. Um, this I got one through fourteen for thirteen dollars. And half price books. Pretty much any time you go there. They'll give you 10% off if you just ask. Uh, just say, hey, um, you know, I'm a first-time customer. I had a, I had a coupon that was 10% off. So that's what I said to this guy, and he's like, oh, don't worry about it. You know, I'll give you that no matter what. So that was that was really cool. So I got th these for less than a buck each, which you're not going to beat that now. Um, I also got 30 Days of Night. One through, I think it was one through eight. Um, this is, they've made a bunch of other, like, of the spin offs of this. This is like the, this is the first IDW series. And I got these for 13 bucks also for one through eight. So happy about that. And who did this cover? Oh, this is a, this is a Sam Keith cover. Pretty cool. Those are probably, I don't know. For one through eight, you may be looking at 25, 30 bucks at least. Probably more than that. Uh, I picked these up. I don't really know anything about it. Wormwood. Don't know anything about it, but it's Garth Ennis. These were two bucks each. Garth Ennis, who wrote Preacher. So who knows what that'll do. I don't know anything about this either. The 12. They had all, all 12 issues of it. I got that for a dollar. It's the last issue, issue 12. This for a dollar. It wouldn't be a video of mine without mentioning a zombie. I gotta keep the streak going. So I got Runaways number 28, the variant. Zombie variant for a dollar. It's not really worth a whole lot, but it's it's cool. Cool to me. Another another cool one just to have is Batman and Robin 13 from the first Batman and Robin series. Um, just a cool Robin taking the crowbar to Joker cover on that. Plus, I love green green covers. Dollar for that one. And I showed these last. Well, I showed I showed a couple books from this last time. Like I said, I wasn't familiar with the the series, but I'll probably get in to read these. I've heard it's pretty good. And it's uh, Juan Jose Rip, who's the artist who does Cologne. I got these for two dollars a piece, and these are like the wraparound covers so I like I like the artist so I picked them up all right so I'll definitely be going back to half price at some point all right next up I got some more eBay purchases and a book that I had been looking for for a while and I, f I finally just kind of caved in and bought it off of eBay Thor 337 first Beta Ray Bill. I, I don't, I'm not really sure what's going on with him as far as the speculation on movie and and whatnot. Um, you know they kind of they kind of hinted that he was at the end of uh, Thor: The Dark World. He might be getting his own movie. He might 
I don't know. Whatever. He might uh, show up in the next store. I think it's still a good book. I got so I got 37, 38, which is a cool cover. Thor and Beta Ray fighting over the hammer. Uh, 39. So you can see 37. He's actually using Thor's hammer. 39 is the first Stormbreaker hammer, which is his own. And 40. It's a pretty cool cover too. So I got those for, you know, like I said, I finally broke down. I, I normally wouldn't, but I got those for 24 bucks for the four of them. And the main one is 337. That's 20 bucks. The rest of these can be had for a couple bucks each. All right. I also got from the same seller 344 which is the first appearance of Malekith the Accuser who was in the new uh, Thor movie 347 which features him and 349 now 349 I just read today on online somebody was speculating that this book might heat up um, and I can't remember their relationships but it's it's Malekith and Odin brothers Odin so Sorry, I don't have any more info on you <laughs> on that. But I ended up paying, uh, man, I only paid four bucks for all these with shipping. Can't beat that. And I also, I was like, what else can I throw in from this guy? <laughs> and I got an Earth 2 sketch cover for like $1.50. Cool wraparound cover. Really cool. And it's still got a $13 price tag on it. Take that for $1.50. All right, moving on. This was like an area I went to, I tried to go to like a a, um, a flea market, and when I got there, it was closed. So usually, what I do in that case is hop on Google Maps and see what is close as far as comics. So I found a shop that I hadn't been to. Not the best shop. A lot of these. Are you guys finding that you know when you go to these new shops, you can never be sure if it's a if it's going to be a uh, gaming shop or comics and half the time I go to these shops and comics are like secondary they got 10 12 boxes and everybody's gaming doing the gaming cards and stuff I don't know anything about those but it seems to be paying the bills for these guys so let the gaming guys play their cards and I'll go in and scoop up the comics so I got X Factor 17 first Richter two bucks Nothing special. Uh, New Mutants 25, first David Holler, who is Legion. And he's a pretty cool character. A lot of appearances. Um, so I picked that up. I also got, I don't know if you guys follow the, the YouTuber Brian Sains. I think he'd be proud of me of these two. Uh, Ninja Turtles 50 and 51, the first two books of the City at War series. And in this City of War is where... Uh, Shredder's granddaughter makes her first appearance. I had in my notes it was 51, but I don't think it is because I went through it and I, I didn't see her in there. I know, I think it's like 53 or 54 she's on the cover, but so I was going through these. I'd, I've never really read these, uh, the original series, Eastman and Laird. This is issue 50 at the back. Really cool. This This issue doesn't even have much dialogue which you know just focus on the artwork and it's really cool but in the back here they have like some other artists doing Ninja Turtles I'm, I'm not sure who that is oh it's Eric Larson I can see it up there now duh looks like Savage Dragon type features and then uh, Joe Quesada and this is really cool uh, Todd McFarlane Michelangelo that'd be just like an awesome original artwork piece to own you could probably get it for twenty thousand, but that that's a really cool thing about uh, this this book. This, that was in Turtles fifty from the original series, so I got those for two bucks each, which was a very good deal, and they're in great condition. Usually the turtles I find are beat up because it's younger kids. I would assume usually buying them. I got Wolverine eight, just a a cool cover. Uh, it was three dollars, kind of a classic cover. Um, 
X Factor 5. I'm not finding 6 as much anymore, which isn't surprising because it's going for 60 bucks now on eBay. But I'm still finding 5s, and I paid 6 bucks for this. And the reason I picked this up, I have a couple copies of it, so if anybody wants to trade for one. But this this is in really nice condition, and it's it's really white, which is hard to find. Um, cameo, first cameo of Apocalypse, if you didn't know. And I did find some cool older stuff, too. Doc Strange, 164. Got that for five bucks. It's not, it's not mint, obviously, for five bucks. But Doc Strange is super hot right now. If you didn't know, they've been talking about a movie, possibly. And I read somewhere that they were saying that Johnny Depp, they thought, went in for an interview to play Doc Strange. So that would be really cool if... Johnny Depp's already Doc Strange in real life. And another book I had been looking for. Um, oh, Strange Tales. If you can find... So this is close to the end of the Doc Strange run in, in Strange Tales. I think 168 would be the last one. And then 169 is the first book of Doctor Strange's first of his own series. And that book is just going through the roof right now. Um... So if you see that, pick it up for sure. And this book I had been looking for, it's a tough book to find in good condition. Shazam 28, the second appearance of Black Adam, who this is like his second, I don't even know what, uh, this would be Silver Age book, I guess. Um, silver, yeah, this would be Silver. So this is his first appearance in a Silver Age comic. And... It's a tough book to find. It's a, it's even more tough to find in high grade. And this is, again, this one isn't mint. It's got, it's got a little bit of issue right there. But, um, so I, I totaled him up. He had eight bucks on it. And I think it might have just been the, the plastic bag that it was in more than anything. This is switched out from the one that it was in. And it, it just made it look a lot worse, I think. So he had me totaled up. I, I can't remember how much it was. Uh. 22 bucks or something and he had eight bucks on this i said can you do any better on this always ask if they can do a better price even if it's just on one book i said look this stack over here i'm good with the price on these can you do me something a little better on this and he goes well you got 22 here how about 25 cash out the door i said deal so i got that for three bucks take that all day all right so I went to another store that was kind of close to this place. First time at this store. Um, picked up Rocket Girl number one. I had been meaning to get this book for a while. It's it, The artwork on it is really nice. It's a cool story. I've read the first three issues. I, I like it. It's kind of got... It really reminded me though so far of the way that the story is playing out. It kind of reminds me of uh, the, the new Superior Spider-Man when... He is uh, going back and forth to 2099 with Spider-Man 2099. And just kind of the, the, the battle between they've created some technology that then they have to go back into present day to stop it from being built kind of thing. Uh, sorry, it's probably not too, too descriptive, but it's a cool book. If you get a chance, if you see it, give it a chance. I, I really like it. All right, I found this for a dollar. All Star Comics, the Millennium Edition. The original Super Team makes its first appearance. If you didn't know, they say what the significance is up here. So, it's first Just Society America. A dollar, I'll take that. Uh, for Thor, 412. First, first New Warriors on the cover. This is the one that people kind of think is the first New Warriors. Um, I got that for two bucks, so I, that's the harder one to find, I would say. I keep finding this one, 411, which is the, the kind of cameo, I guess you would call it. I've kind of stopped giving up on figuring out which is their first appearance, you know, because you, you kind of have to let the masses decide as far as price what the first appearance is. I usually go to the Marvel Wikia page, and 411 is their first. All they have in 411 is one panel, the last panel in the book. So it's kind of like a cameo. Last last video I showed you, 
uh, Amazing Spider-Man 360. It has it has like a whole page of Carnage, but I never even heard anybody talk about that. And 361 is the one that everybody wants. He's on the cover. It's his first appearance. Kind of the same with this. But this is tough to find for two bucks. Oh, that that I had just had already. Get that out of there. Uh, Miss Marvel. Keep finding these Miss Marvels at great prices. Number 20. Got that for $2. This is the first appearance of her new costume, which is really cool. Uh, that's more that's more akin to what she wears today. And I think they're talking about possibly she might be in a movie upcoming. I don't know. Micronauts number one. Why not? Two bucks. How about this one? Power Man and Iron Fist. Now this, I haven't seen anybody talking about this, but I think you might want to grab it. This is, I got this for $4. First time Power Man and Iron Fist are called Heroes for Hire, which I can't really figure out if they're doing a Heroes for Hire TV show or they're going to have a separate cage and power, or, or a separate, yeah, cage and Iron Fist TV show. I've seen it both ways. I mean, if they have a, if they just have a Heroes for Hire TV show, man, this is the first first book. Oh, that's uh, Power Man and Iron Fist 54. First time they're called that. So that could be a real hot book. So uh, I was snooping around in this store. I always check for this book, but it's usually gone now. Just like X Factor 6, usually by now it's gone. But for some reason, it was still there. And sorry for this. Glare on. Yeah, that's better. Superman, Man of Steel 18, first full doomsday, and this is the fourth print, the rarest of the prints. I just looked on eBay, this thing, the sold listings, it's going for minimum $50. I got this for $2.50. Heck yeah, take that. You, got it, you always got to check, you never know. Found an X Factor 6 for a dollar. About a couple months ago. Now this this was my newest best find. Superman Man of Steel 18, the fourth print. Did I say up here you can see where it's at, what printing it is, which is nice. Because they don't even do this for the new DC books. This is the Roman numeral one and four, so that's one and five, fourth print. And I also picked this up there. They had a whole stack of comics that um they had a sign on top of them that said a dollar, and I picked out a bunch of stuff like Uncanny 266. Um, there was a, some other books I can't remember, but this was in there, and I took it over and I said, "Is this a dollar?" He said, "Oh no, we haven't priced those yet." And I said, "Well, what, what do you give me on this?" And he looks it up in Overstreet, which for this kind of book is great because it, Overstreet doesn't have the price adjustment. Ten bucks, he said. I said, "Okay, throw it on there." I mean, it's a 20, 25 to, to fifty dollar book. It's not, it's not near mint, but. And then when I left, I was like, shoot, I should have tried to talk them down to eight bucks. <laughs> you always got to try and talk them down. So, really happy to get that. I'll end on that, and I got a ton more books. So, keep trolling those dollar boxes.